Lenny was in the park playing with other puppies and stole a ball. He kept it and when we put him in the car, it was there one minute and then it was gone. Oh wow, it's pretty obvious. With Lenny, this ball is so big, I just cannot see that it's gonna find its way up the esophagus and out the mouth. Hi guys. Hey. Who's this handsome fella? This is Lenny. Hi Lenny. At Scott's Richmond practice, Border Collie puppy Lenny has just been brought in and he's in trouble. Lenny was in the park playing with other puppies and stole a ball. He kept it and when we put him in the car, he obviously thought we were going to take it from him. Um, and it was there one minute and then it was gone. Owners Alice and Ryan can't quite believe an innocent trip to the park has ended up with a serious emergency. It was worrying today. Very worrying. Turn in one. So, the owner said it was slightly bigger than a golf ball, slightly smaller than a tennis ball. So we're not expecting that's going to be something that's going to pass through very easily on it. Yeah. With assistance from junior vet Laura and nurse Nathan, Scott is going to have to somehow try to retrieve the missing ball. He's about five and a half months, so we've had him since he was two months. It was lockdown, gave us the opportunity, being home more than we ever were, um, so it gave us that. So that's the one good thing that's come out of COVID and lockdown for us. Is mum really confident that he She's did swallow She's sure that it was in his mouth and it, it went down hole. Um, it was a plastic hollow ball with a squeaker inside. <laughs> Shall I see if I can make your tummy squeak? Scott is trying to lighten the mood, but he knows all too well that Lenny's predicament is potentially very dangerous. Okay. There's something quite solid there. Can you feel it? So yeah. It feels a bit solid at one end and then Definitely. tapers a little bit. There's no way Scott can leave the ball and hope Lenny passes it naturally. Unfortunately, if it's past the stomach, we're just not going to be able to remove it with the scope. If the ball moves into the small intestine, it could cause infection, excruciating pain, and even death. If Scott can't locate the ball and safely remove it, the young pup is going to need emergency surgery. Normally with dogs, we would hope that when they've swallowed something silly, we give them an injection and they vomit it up. With Lenny, this ball is so big, I just cannot see that it's going to find its way up the esophagus and out the mouth. Let's get him nice good boy. Okay, you're a good boy. So as much as I'd like to say that we can make Lenny vomit and he'll vomit up the ball, in this particular case, it's simply not going to happen. To confirm exactly where the ball has ended up, Scott starts by taking an X-ray. X-ray. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is huge. The X-ray confirms that the ball is lodged in Lenny's stomach. Yeah. Big ball. A huge ball. How the hell did he swallow that? Hole, down in one. Well, that's like trying to swallow a whole apple. Like, how did he do it? The next step is for us to use a endoscope to put a camera down the gastrointestinal tract and have a look at this thing. And I think all we can do is try and see if we can pull it out. Oh, there we go. What's that there? There we are. There's our ball. The ball is clearly visible, but the smooth round surface is going to make latching onto it extremely difficult. There is going to be a serious disparity between the size of the ball and the size of my grabbers. Go for it, yep. Yep, go for it, really go for it, yep. Nah, it's going to slide off every time. Go ahead, yep, yep. It is so excruciating to be able to see something and not be able to grab hold of it. Are you getting any traction on it? No, no, no. My grabbers just keep sliding off it and we're just getting more and more frustrated because I know in the back of my mind that if we can't grab it, I am going to have to perform surgery. Push right against it. Go, go, go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's not going to happen, is it? Oh God, that's so infuriating. 
But look, even if we did grab it, I'm just not convinced it will come out anyway. It's just so big. Surgery is now inevitable. I actually thought it would come out either naturally, the way it perhaps would have done, or, or could have done if it was smaller, or they could have got it out. So yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Assisting Scott with the unique and risky surgery is going to provide a unique learning opportunity for junior vet Laura. So a midline incision starts quite cranially. Yep. And then have a look and identify the stomach, exteriorise it. It is a big thing because we are opening up a dog's body cavity and then we're opening up the stomach which is full of bacteria and, and enzymes. There's blood vessels everywhere. So yes, there's, there's a lot of potential downfalls of, of doing something like this, but it literally is the only thing we could do to get this ball out. And there it is. Grab hold of it. Gigantic! It looks even bigger in, in like reality, doesn't mm. it? This puppy has just done a classic puppy thing of swallowing something silly that uh, was unable to go up or down. In the future, I'd love to say that Lenny will learn from this, but he really, really won't. He won't remember this at all. And all his owners can do is, is do their best to ensure that anything that he plays with is too big for his mouth. But in this case, it has to be gigantic. That was gigantic. This puppy has just done a classic puppy thing. Hi guys. <laughs> Everyone is relieved the scary ordeal is over. Have you look? Sorry for yourself. I would say it's relatable to us trying to swallow a volleyball. It's so big. For the size of his mouth and his head to the yeah. size of the ball, it's yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's not even ours. You, not even. You pinched it. Right. <laughs> this really is quite incredible. I just don't know how he did it. It really is quite the party trick. He will mature. He will get that, you know, emotional intelligence in time. Mm. But he just can't be trusted. No. No. <laughs> That's silly. He's such a nice dog. Isn't he? So we forgive him. <laughs> Just this one. Don't do yeah. It. yeah. Uh -huh. See you later. No more eating stupid things. Okay? All right. Thanks ever so much. Bye guys. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye beautiful boy. Bye bye. See you later. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.